All right, boys. So basically, um, I had shot an intro to a video and I wasn't necessarily sure that what I was doing was going to work or if it was going to fail horribly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like the unedited video parts that I shot for what I did. And if you read the title of the video, I painted my Logitech G Pro. Maybe not the smartest idea in hindsight. Um, but I'm going to show you the original intro that I shot because the truth be told, I didn't think it was going to work at all. So I shot it on a whim. I took a couple videos of the process throughout and at the end, I'm going to show you the final, uh, basically like the final product. Um, before you guys go on a, a tangent, I've never really painted anything before ever. So this was my first attempt of, of, of sanding something down, painting it even trying to get it to remotely like work decently and then hoping that it works after I was done. So this is my first attempt ever. The reason behind it was, you'll see in my other intro video that I shot, it didn't match anything that I used. And it's a great mouse, but I wanted to see if I could do it. And I didn't see any other videos on YouTube of people that did it. So I'm gonna cut now to the original intro and some of the other parts and then we're gonna cut back to me and then we'll finish it up. What up Ari, today's not gonna be anything crazy. The the audio is not going to be great because if I'm being truthful with you, I'm recording this from an iPhone with no external mic and I'm only shooting the intro to this because this video may not ever see the light of day depending on how bad I royally screw something up that I've never done. You guys know I love this mouse. Um, it's my wireless G Pro uh, from Logitech. Um, I actually have the, the grip on it, the mouse feet, and I love everything about the mouse. I've been using it as my daily driver for the last few days. My only issue is it goes with nothing. It's all black. Um, so it just, it doesn't work for anything. I'm gonna paint it. Um, and I might do a horrible job doing so. We won't know till I get there, but we're gonna find out. So if you see on stream that the mouse looks screwed up and there's no video, then you know I epically royal, uh, royally messed up. If it turns out good, I'll, I'll post it. I'm going to film stuff as I do it. I'm basically going to mask. So you can take it apart, but taking it apart is an absolute monstrosity. I actually looked up how to disassemble it and there's like a thousand things to take out just to get the shell. So I'm actually going to masking tape this thing off extremely well and paint it that way. We're going to see. It, it might not, it might not work at all, but who knows? So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to film clips of me painting it and all that stuff too and see how it turns out. Um, it, it could be an absolute royal mess. So we'll know if the video gets posted or not. So this is just the intro and if this cuts away, then you know that I did it. And if you see it, then you know that I did it successfully and that's kind of where we're at. So pray for me. All right. Thanks guys. What up guys? Um, again, audio not great, but it is what it is. So basically I came out to my sun porch. And I stopped and I got this kind of paint. This is Cryolon Cooler Master. I got Gloss Mamba Pink. If you guys watch this video and like the color of the mouse, that's the color I got. Um, I haven't clear coated it yet, but what I got was, it's actually over there. I'll show it to you here in a little bit. Um, so this is where we're at right now. I put like four or five coats onto the mouse. Um, and this is what we're looking like right now. So I'm thinking it looks pretty, actually pretty sexy. Um, that's the top. Now the, the, the mat I got is actually going to cut the shine down a little bit on this mouse, which is what I want. So I got it pretty even, like no crazy flaws or anything. I've never painted anything before in my entire life. So that's where we're at with that. And then the side buttons, I just put the side buttons over here. Now I sanded them down. I got a real fine sandpaper, sanded the mouse down, sanded these down, wiped them off, used the alcohol pad on them, got any of the stuff off that I could, and then Basically got the paint out, uh, got a nice warm environment. I have like a little stove right here. And uh, basically for people that have not painted a lot, if you get heat, paint's gonna actually stick a little better. So I think so far it's come out pretty good. I have to let this dry one hour now because I'm not gonna put any more coats on it. And then after one hour, we're going to apply the, the matte finish to it. So we'll see how it looks. Once I get the matte collar applied to it, I gotta wait two hours before I can touch it. So. I'll give you guys updates on this as I get it. All 
All right, so basically it's been over an hour since I put my last coat of pink on, and I just sprayed it with this matte finish Krylon. Basically, it takes some of the glossy look out because I don't want it to be super glossy. And if you notice, it did take a lot of the glossy look off. I applied one real quick coat on it, and I'm gonna do one more, and that's all I'm gonna do to this. And then we're just gonna let it dry and then plug the buttons up and see. I did do the side buttons as well. Sorry guys, I'm out of breath. I've been moving around my computer stuff and I'm still screwing around with my room, but I think this came out pretty slick, assuming everything works. It looks super close to the uh, the G Pro wireless that they were that they did the giveaways for, and that's kind of what I was going for, and I wanted something to match my aesthetics. So I'm thinking this looks pretty good. We'll see. All right, so this is the finalized product. Um, I think it turned out okay. Do I think it turned out fucking amazing? No. I still haven't put the uh, feet back on it, so I'm not going to move it around and go all crazy. But um, I, I think it turned out pretty decently. This is the side view. I'm going to wait for it to focus. 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 That's the side view. Um, give you guys a top piece here. Focus. There we go. Um, I think it turned out okay. What do you guys think? Uh, I don't like RGB anyway, so if you guys know me, you know I don't give a shit about RGB. So I think it turned out pretty good as far as like the look and stuff. Uh, the color's pretty good on it. It's pretty consistent. I didn't really fuck anything up. All the buttons work. I did test it and plug it in, but I gotta put the I gotta put hyperglass back on it. So uh, that's where I'm at with it. So. What do you guys think? Yeah, you're nay. You guys like the color? Do you think it did an okay job to have never done anything before ever? Um, like, comment, subscribe. Let's flip the mirror real quick. There you have it, boys. I've never done anything like that before, and I'll be truth. I'll be truthful with you. I'm scared to death to do it. So, if I can give you any tips or tricks or, or, or suggestions, if you are thinking about doing this to your mouse, um, buy good paint. Take your time. I I spent all day on my day off doing this. I would spray a little coat and I would give it proper time to dry, spray another coat. I didn't rush it because I didn't want any runs or anything like that. It's a very expensive mouse. You can probably do this on any mouse, but that's what I use, so that's what I wanted to try it on. Buy good paint. Take your time. Um, just don't rush this whole thing, okay? Buy a good clear coat. Now, if you look at my videos, this thing was super glossy. I mean, like, super glossy. And I went and bought the Krylon Matte Protectant. So it protects the paint, but it, like, mats it down because I really like, I really like the, the matte look. I think the matte look looks really, really sick. And uh, that's the look that I like. So I think this turned out pretty good, actually. Um, I got to get the, the hyperglides and stuff on it, but I think that turned out pretty fresh. What do you think? Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Twitch is popping guys. We had a fantastic stream yesterday. So I'm doing two giveaways. I'm doing two giveaways for, uh, artists and Shinikais. You have to comment on this video. I need comments. I'm going to pick two random people like I did with my previous Tai How keycap video. And then I will DM the winners. Today is Sunday. So next Sunday, we're going to pick winners. Comment, 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 comments. I need comments. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Do you think I did an okay job on that for the first time doing something like that? Um, ideas for new videos, yada, yada, yada. So let me know, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I appreciate all the support. Thanks, guys. Have a good night. Peace. <laughs>